The Tigers and the Bombers are in the finals hunt. Saturday night crunch time. It's the dream time. AFLW 2023, and here's Hosking getting the first touch of the game. Bounces it inside 50. Gamble. Nice gather from Brennan. Tackle came from Clark. You see lurking. Top of the square. Opening goal, Tigers. It's going to the co-captain, Kane. Scurries away. Delivers it deep inside 50. Looking for a co-co-captain. And Two Good's got it. 25 out directly in front. What a season Bonnie's having. 30 out directly in front. And it's a goal apiece at Icon Park in the Dreamtime game. response from the Bombers. Walker for Sparkus to the outside. This is Mia Van Dyke inside 50. Always looking for Alexander. Running over the top of it was Bannister. She gets it back, gets another opportunity, gets a snap and gets a goal! Yasir already has one. She's immediately swallowed up. Up I said in the back, free kick, Milsey Yasir. 35 out. Never in doubt. Two goals apiece. Particularly for the Tigers. Almost a must-win game for them, really. A lose touch. His Spark has almost got through. Caitlin Cox, a legal tackle. Slung into the ground, according to the umpire. 25 out, more or less directly in front. And she drills it through. to lead the game. And here goes Mon again, and there's Maddie taking her down. Two young stars of the competition. This time it's going the other way to Conti for being dumped. And so that's a really critical mark taken by Libby Graham. Graham is centre half back. Kelly there. Good work from Dyke. Flying shot of goal. He's going to bounce through. Comes Clark, takes it on the bounce, shrugs the tackle, keeps the ball moving towards the top of the square. One on one is a fantastic win at the back from Seymour. Bombers have got defensive support for the handball, Mr. Target. McClellan puts it into the path of Brennan. Katie's got to go back and find it. She does. Gets onto her left boot, snaps it goalwards towards the square. Great scrambling football from the Tigers to keep it alive. Gathered in by Kane, goes to the voice of Bannister on the overlap. Now a chance for the Bombers to generate something. Too good will go inside 50. Here's Tierney again. Front on contact. Big moment here for Renee and for the Bombers. And she seizes the moment. Renee Tierney with her first goal in AFLW. Miller has back position. Scott tries to work her out of it and does so successfully. Bannister, Nan Scorn. If she can pick it up, she can use Scott. Does now. Page can get a look from 25 out. Go for it! And nail it! Opportunity to release Conti. She'll look to accelerate away from Wales. Links up with Brennan. Will turn and go. Brennan's got a player wide open. It's Jones. She can run to 35. She can run to 20. She can pop it over the top. Playing an important role. Puts it into the path of Katie Brennan. Going to try to turn her opponent, Morecambe, from the boundary line. Brennan. Across the face, you see it tracks it, she's got some space. Can Millsy turn, snap, and kick a third? Turns it over there though to Press Barkas. Could be costly with 90 seconds left on the clock. Short to too good. Too far out to score. Alexander's the deepest forward. Heads in that direction, she's got the set. She had the mismatch against Eastman. Up she steps with the banana. Nails it. Important goal for Essendon. They get the steadier. In the shadows of three-quarter time, they're back out to a two-goal lead. We're happy to try and take Miller on and get past, and she does. Trouble now for Richmond, because Clark is away. Running deep, inside 50. Bouncing football. Scott gets rid of Shearer, and that's no mean feat. Paige Scott, open goal. 
Egan there. Graham. Miller. Lovely step from Beck Miller. Bannister's down just behind Sarah Hosking there in the hands of the trainer. But Bannister changes direction and they're the ones you hate to see. As I mentioned, she did her ACL on debut in 2018. And you know, been able to build game plans and now they can really refine it. And Chris Barkas and Hosking come together again. And the Bombers score their first AFLW win over Richmond. Essendon now 5-2, and two, two games clear of the Tigers, and Firming is a legitimate finals contender with three games to play.